So for this video, I wanted to show you that HDR finally works and you'll probably notice that after the Windows 10 full update that HDR completely stopped working and was absolutely totally wrecked. This was because Microsoft decided that wouldn't it be great to basically take over the HDR support and all the games previously were working on using the NVIDIA um, driver hack. So previously, before the Windows 10 update and of my previous video, you would have noticed you have had to set up your NVIDIA color settings and making sure this was set to 10-bit. Um, now you want to make sure that you have in the display settings the HDR switch enabled. Um, previously, this WCG thing wasn't around. Normally, you would probably see only see HDR. I mention this because I've had a uh, a recent Windows 10 update so if something's not working for you in terms of HDR then this could be a case um, perhaps Windows hasn't updated for you yet because I'm on the insider preview um, or it could just be the NVIDIA drivers I'd like to make note that I'm actually using the 390.65 uh, drivers which came out um, earlier this month now of course you need to be using a HDR capable display um, this is why we're filming the LG OLED TV. I'm filming the TV directly because I wanted to show you the TV responding to HDR. Um, if I do a screen cap, then that would be completely wasted. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you have this HDR switch enabled. And you want to ensure you have the default color settings. So do not use the NVIDIA color settings because this will not work. Um, once you've enabled this, you'll find that your desktop looks pretty awful and pretty screwy. Um, actually, before we go into that, um, I wanted to basically mention these adapters. So this is a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. And if you're like me and you have your VR headset plugged in, this will not work in HDR. So if you've got a Vive or a uh, Oculus Rift or something, um, you need to make sure that you are plugged directly into the T to the HDMI on your video card. Do not go through a DisplayPort adapter because your HDR will not work. So I just thought I'd mention that in case um, you know you don't have this option enabled. You also want to make sure that you're using the right monitor. For me, this is monitor two. The monitor one is my Dolby Atmos hack which I've covered in my previous video to get Dolby Atmos working correctly. Um, so you will need to change your TV settings. So to work out that you are in HDR, uh, this is obviously the LG OS. So obviously if you're using a Sony TV or anything else or Panasonic, you have your own um, UI. But you can see this is an HDR because this obviously says HDR. Now, if you haven't updated the color profiles, this will look absolutely awful. And I'm going to show you what that looks like by just changing the picture mode and resetting everything in front of you. If I just go up to picture. And I'm just going to reset this because I want to show you the difference of how this makes windows look absolutely awful. So hit yes on that. That's no. Okay, so if I drag this over, um, so as you can see here, the text here looks absolutely unreadable. This is really awful to use. Um, actually, if I exit that, so you can see now that is absolutely really harsh on the eyes and you can't see anything. Um, this is actually very easy to fix. You'll notice now this no longer says user. This is just the HDR game make sure you are on the game setting and not standard or anything else. Um, you have to be on the game because otherwise um, you will get massive latency problems. So if you've got an LG TV or anything else, make sure you've got the latest uh, firmware to activate game mode. So to sort out the, the color and the um, basically the sharpness of the text, Remember this is for LG, so other manufacturers you'll need to unfortunately look this up. So again, to advanced control, and to make the text actually readable, you need to turn off super resolution, 
which ironically is supposed to improve blurry text or anything else. So you switch this to off and immediately you can see the difference. So high versus off. So you want to switch that off. And the other two things you will want to turn on will be dynamic contrast. You want to set it to high. If you don't switch this on, your HDR will be really dark. So if you're watching anything or playing anything and you've noticed your HDR is incredibly dark, this is because of dynamic contrast. And then you might as well just switch on dynamic color, which I think has quite a nice tint. I set this to medium because I think the high has too much of a tint. And that's it. You don't need to change any of the other settings here. There's no need to change color or anything else. So it's just those three options in your TV settings. And then now you'll see this is now saying HDR user, which basically means this is now working and you can now leave your desktop in HDR mode all the time. If you don't set up your TV like this, um, your Windows 10 desktop PC outside of gaming and movies will be absolutely unusable. So um, this works for me quite well and there isn't actually too much input lag. So basically that's everything you need to um, support HDR. Now, you'll notice there are actually quite a few games that used to support HDR, but only the most recent ones actually work, being Call of Duty and Shadow of War. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda does work and does detect HDR, but I find that to be way too dark to be usable. So I'm just going to boot into uh, Call of Duty and then you'll be able to see that it works with HDR and everything enabled. So I've now started uh, Call of Duty and you can see that the TV now still is in HDR mode, which is here. Um, previously to the, this update, even though you had HDMI and HDR enabled inside the game settings, the actual HDR profile wouldn't stick. So the TV would pop up and say, hey, HDMI, R is actually enabled, but when you actually then check the uh, the color profile, you'll notice that it's gone into um, non-HDR or standard DR, I guess, I don't know. Um, so you want to make sure that you have um, this enabled in settings, which I think is here, and I may not be able to change this in game. Uh, advanced settings. And then you'll see that it's picked up that this is an LG TV and you'll see that HDR output is set to on. And you can see here all the same settings um, that I previously showed you before I started Call of Duty. So I've tried this um, before the latest NVIDIA drivers and the most recent Windows 10 update and none of this actually worked. So today is kind of the first time that I've actually been able to run this on... Um, of HDR. So I can quickly show you this. Um, you'll see the color is really good. Um, obviously I'm not playing this that well and I'm about to get killed I think. So yeah I mean obviously um, I can't really show you how good the quality of the color is at the moment because this is not filming in HDR and Obviously, the uh, your TV may not be HDR, but you know it's this all totally works, and you can see from the right hand part of the screen that this is still an HDR. This hasn't lost um, the HDR setting, and this totally totally works. Um, so the next game I'm going to show you will be uh, Shadow of War because that's one of the other few games that actually run in HDR. So just to clarify, if a game has come out um, recently that says it supports HDR, like Shadow of War and Call of Duty, the HDR definitely works. If it's a game that came out, say, six, seven months ago with the previous NVIDIA version of HDR, then um, that won't work. So I'm going to close this and show you Shadow of War working. Okay, so now we have um, Shadow of War. Um, I'm not really going to play this, but you can see here that we've um, entered a game with HDR still enabled. So as I said before, um, this is a title that said it supported HDR, but if you'd have tried this before any of the uh, recent updates, um, it would have lost the HDR setting as soon as it entered game. 
So as you can see from the TV, it still has HDR enabled and all I can tell you is that it looks pretty amazing. Um, we're actually gonna try um, Mass Effect, which doesn't work that well, but you can see how that works. And um, as you can see here, the colors here are pretty bright. There's none of that darkness issues. Um, remember if uh, your HDR color looks really too dark, when you go into any of these games, that's because you haven't set up your TV color settings as I showed previously. So we're just gonna drop into Mass Effect and see how that looks by comparison. Okay, so we've booted up um, Mass Effect Andromeda. You'll see from the right-hand side, it does, left-hand side, it does actually say HDR mode, HDR 10, which if I show you that here, um, this does actually show it's uh, using HDR. However, kind of really annoyingly, um, you lose the mouse cursor. So although the game works and is tightly playable, um, using the menu system and inventory is quite difficult considering that uh, the cursor doesn't work. Um, have we loaded up yet? Actually, I'm going to pause this while this loads. Okay, so we've now, um, we're inside Mass Effect. If I'm honest, the colors are actually a lot better than this in um, in real life compared to, you know, the video. And if I'm honest, it's, it's you know, it is playable, but I do remember it being a lot better than this when um, when it came out and it was still using the old kind of hacky X-Jump fermentation. So... It, it is totally playable. Um, incidentally, this is like my god build that I'm running around in, which is very difficult for me to dive because I have unlimited ammo and stupid health and shield regen, and whenever something dies, I get 25% shield regen. Um, I think I posted that video of that build a few months ago. I think it was maybe four months ago, another Mass Effect. So yeah, it's totally playable, um, there's no real lag. Um, lag is obviously going to be quite important for a game like this where obviously you're, you're ducking around. But yeah, as I said, this is a game that um, if you haven't got your colour settings right, will be absolutely unplayable. So you want to make sure you have everything set up and... Uh... So yeah, um, a lot has changed. If you are... If you come here from my previous video, then basically just disregard everything I said on that video because everything has changed um, as Microsoft are now natively supporting HDR rather than uh, NVIDIA. So games like Hitman or possibly Resident Evil and anything else, um, they will no longer work. And I think pretty much the only games you can probably get away with playing are Call of Duty and Shadow of War. Um, this is okay. Um, if you pick this up on sale, I suspect it's a good game, um, but don't expect to be wowed by the HDR implementation. Whether or not they fix it to support um, Microsoft's implementation HDR, I don't know. So yeah, so please subscribe to my channel, and if you have any comments or need any help about sorting out HDR, um, let me know. But honestly, as I said before, make sure you plug straight in via HDMI to a graphics card. Don't use any adapters or converters or anything else because you will not get um, HDR and I don't think it matters what obviously what HDMI cable you're using as long as it's not you know eight years old you should be good um, you don't have to worry about changing to 422 and 4k and you know all the different resolutions because pretty much that's handled for you so previously you had to make sure that you change to 10-bit color and you're using 42 instead of RGB. All of that basically is now obsolete because Windows handles this natively. And if you set up your TV color settings, like I showed you before, um, you'll have great color and everything will work. Incidentally, I am going to do a subsequent video on how to play any video files you have uh, in HDR in Windows 10 because that's somewhat working now and uh, look out for a follow-up video.